what's going on guys it's your boy Terabyte reacts here and I am back with another Walking Dead reaction um it's been a while sorry guys um I have to apologize first of all last week I completely forgot that I was reacting to this series it's not that I'm losing interest it's just completely slipped my mind um, so I must apologize for that. You guys should have gotten an episode last week, but we're going to be on a different schedule this week. Um, so you guys will be able to get two episodes we're back on schedule. I have the time. I've carved out the time to be able to do these um, reaction on specific days. And there's a schedule going. So Wednesdays and Fridays is The Walking Dead. So just remember that from now on, expect the episode to come out on Wednesdays and Fridays okay um, so yeah let's jump into this episode if you have not subscribed to the channel make sure you go and do that okay um, so see you guys after the reaction go ahead and watch that reaction on the Google Drive link in the description um, if you want to see a review of the last episode go back and check out a review for episode 5 um, I think this episode is the finale episode 6 of season 1 so that's gonna find out what happens after they get to it now they have been let into the CDC the guy opened the door so let's go ahead and see what's gonna happen now okay see if they're gonna be safe what is going to happen is he gonna attack them what is going to happen so see you guys after the reaction for the review go ahead and check out the reaction um, I'm about to go watch this show right now, okay? So, see you then. Alright, what's going on guys? We are back. If you're here checking out this review, let's get into it. Episode 6, Season 1, Season Finale of the walking dead what does terabyte reacts think um it's crazy what happened in that episode because it's like there's a lot of um real life situations that it, it's it was a really emotional episode um i didn't have much to say um uh, because it wasn't anything super exciting or anything like that it was more you got to pay attention to the dialogue the stuff that happened um um that was wrong of Shane she, he he was trying to 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 basically drunk I mean rape Lori forcing himself onto Lori because he loves her and whatever the situation is dude um I think she's kind of wrong for blaming him um she's wrong on the part of blaming him for oh he left him there and all of this other stuff like Anybody in Shane's position, I think any man, any woman um, in Shane's position, maybe you have that 1% of people out there that probably would have stayed with him in there um, and probably died beside him. You know, you have those people that would do stuff like that. But I think probably around 99% of people would leave Rick in there. You know, he checked for the heartbeat. That's what they were trying to show that before that scene. They showed it at the beginning of the episode um, about what happened and why Shane left. Um, because we, I was also wondering what happened. Why did he leave? Why did he think Rick was dead? Did he go and check on him? What was the situation? So they showed that at the beginning of the episode. Really appreciate that. It was a great job of helping us to understand what really happened. Because I was kind of saying Shane was an asshole. Did he go and check on his friend? And all of this other stuff. Now we know he did go and check. And he, he ended up leaving. Barred the door. That's probably the only reason why Rick survived the shit. So in terms of he didn't hear hear the heartbeat. Um, I, he tried man. He tried. And if any of us in that position I believe would have left also. Survival mode kicks in. And you, you got to start thinking about yourself. Because. What's the sense? You're there basically trying to help a dead man. You know, what are you going to do? Drag him with you? And I understand why Lori is upset, but I think she's wrong for blaming him for that. Now, 
the other things that happened, he de he definitely deserved the blame. I still believe he should never have slept with her. Um, I understand why she would turn to him. He was there to comfort her, blah, 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 blah. Um, but I don't think, dude, dude, that's your best friend, man. You you don't sleep with the man's wife. It kind of seems like he had the hots for her from a long time ago. That's just how it seems. That's just bro code 101. A lot of people, you know, they, you know, they come in the comment section and they're talking about this and they're like, oh, making excuses no it's just bro code man you just don't do that i know a lot of i know a lot of dudes they do this like they're they're you know their best friend die and their wife did, and and they got a wife they leave a widow and they go and marry their best like i couldn't do that like i just couldn't it, you know what i'm saying i just believe it's just breaking bro code you just it just kind of seems like you always wanted your best friend's wife. It just com comes off that way. You know what I mean? So I'm still not down for that. So, and as you can see, she don't want him no more. He was just a space filler. You know, I don't think she ever really loved him. It was more of like, oh, I still need to get some dick every now and then. So why not? But he fell for her. It's obvious that he fell for her. But she not having it. Her husband's back. And... You know, that's just how it is. He got to deal with the heartbreak, but he's not dealing with it properly. So, right, got that out the way. Now, dealing about the other stuff, them getting to the CDC, meeting this doctor, this doctor, you know, they got to have a hot shower and all, all that good stuff. All that stuff is good. Them getting to eat for finally getting a good meal. They got drunk. You know, everybody's happy, but, you know, Shane the buzzkill, <laughs> you know. Um, cause he wants to get serious right away. How we always gotta be serious out here in these streets, okay? Hey, walkers could come walking through at any time. All right, all right. We gotta be ready. We gotta stay ready. <laughs> so that's that shame. So it's um. So it it's it, it's very. I feel for 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 Andrea, cause I actually thought she gave she gave up. She gave up. Good thing, dude, kind of played the psychological game with him, with her, to get her out of there. Because it's like, it's really not fair for people to do that. And that's why I said, that's why I said that, um, I think, I don't remember what I was react, reacting to. I was reacting to something where I was like, yo, what was it again? Was it The Walking Man? No, it was, it was Peaky Blinders, where I was talking about suicide and how how much of a cowardly thing it is to do. I believe that when people decide to commit suicide, I believe it's cowardly because you're not thinking. And it's also a very selfish thing to do because you don't think about other people. You're just thinking about yourself. Um, so it's just the same thing here, you know, and he said he hit it right on the nose. You don't get to come into people's life and make them care. And then you decide to check out. It's unfair. You get what I'm saying? So... I don't know if I would have did what he did, as in saying, hey, if you go and I'm going. I don't know if I would have went that far, but it was a psychological game he was playing, obviously, for her to get her ass out of there. So um, I really feel for Andrea. She feel like she doesn't really have anything left to live for, um, but she got to understand that all these people together, they all care about each other, and I totally get that. Um, I'm pretty sure that dude looks at her has... Um, has his own daughter so that's the reason why he was willing to go that far with her so um so yeah um the blowing up of the building what i want to know about that is i want one of you guys to let me know if that is a real thing that if you guys know about this if this is a an actual protocol of the cdc you guys can let me know maybe not on that scale but do they have a protocol in place just in case of terrorist attack and stuff like that? Does the CDC actually do stuff like that? Because um, have something like that in place, I should say, um, for, you know, just in case all hell breaks loose. They just blow up the whole damn place. I think th there's got to be a safer way to do that. You get what I'm saying? There's got to be a safer way of protocol to destroy um, those viruses and stuff like that without that 
on that scale. You get what I'm saying? Like that was a bit much. That's what I'm saying. Like why that? Why is it that much? I mean, look like that stuff could destroy a whole freaking city block. Like that's nuts. You know what I mean? So if that is a thing, man, that's just that's on some crazy level. There has to be another way that they can destroy those um, diseases and viruses and whatever those deadly stuff that they store. Um, than having to blow up a whole damn building and potentially blow up another building beside it or some or something like that. You know what I mean? So, um, but that was pretty interesting. They got out. It's so interesting to me that the grenade that he almost took his life with is the grenade that ended up saving them. That's very ironic and, and very good storytelling, very good story writing. You know, that's very good writing on their part. Um, so kudos to the writers for that. That was brilliant. Um, so I'm loving it. I understand that, um, that this is a season finale. So we're heading into season two next time on Friday. Um, so we definitely start in season two on Friday. Not even going to waste time to get into it. It's going to head on to season two. Okay. So this was a great season introducing us to the walkers. Um, still don't know what happened to dude. Um, the black dude and his son. We still need to know what's happening with them. Um, and and also Daryl's brother. Um, forgot what his name is, right? Um, so we definitely don't know what's going on with them. We still need to know what's going. What what happened to, um, the the the, the Latinos, the the them dudes and the clinic people. So we still need to know what's going on with them. Um. So there's still some story left there to tie up and stuff like that. Um, and we still want to know what's going on with everybody. So the situation, it was a great season one. Great introduction to the series. You definitely want to see a season two after what what took place in this episode. So kudos to them. Definitely great writing. I'm super interested to find out what goes on after this. Um, so... Definitely, definitely jumping into season two um, to drop the next season two episode one drops on Friday. So look out for that. Thank you guys for listening. As always, the first time watching. If you have not checked out the full reaction yet, go ahead and click that link in the description right now. Go ahead and check it out. And also, um, let me got let me know what you guys think about season one. Of course. In the comment section leave a like on this video this review and also thank you guys for watching as always this is your boy terabyte reacts and peace see you for season two i right.